previously on Project E46M3, aka The Money Pit. Good morning YouTube and you join me in the E92 M3. So today's video we are actually going to be talking about the E46 M3. It's currently in the garage, up in the air. It's been a long time coming. I've been meaning to refurbish the wheels for ages. So when I first bought the car they weren't in a bad way but the clear coat had started to fail on them. Oh, I had a little whoopsie which I mentioned in the big review four year later video. Um, Sometimes when you drive in and you're enjoying yourself, you can get a bit carried away and you even say to yourself, this should stop now. Um, and unfortunately, something happened. Well, Dick, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. So obviously, no real drama, to be fair. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been the front bumper. So thankfully, just a curved alloy that is now with Stan to get refurbished. Now, those that have followed this channel, I've used Stan for all my wheel refurb. It's not just a case that he fillers it and repaints it, it's actually re-welded and then he laves it back down. So the wheel is as good as new. Now, the other argument, especially with wheels like CM wheels available is, should you just simply buy a brand new set of wheels and sell the old ones off? Because by the time you've refurbished them, you're probably gonna be at the same price. But the CM wheels are great. And for the money, I really do think you can't go wrong with them. But and the big but is the paint finish isn't great. And the thing is, I'm getting to the point now with the E46 where little bits are bugging me. So I've decided to get the wheels off, get them fully stripped down. Those that follow me on Instagram would have seen that unfortunately the tires are a little bit more worn than I thought on the inside shoulders. Or when I used to wash the car, as probably most do, have a quick look around the tread. You think, yep, still plenty of life left in that. But obviously the combination of camber and the way the car's driven, it has taken its toll on the shoulders. So for now, because of obviously everything that's been going on at the moment, I'm not going to put new tyres on it because it's going to spend six, seven months potentially just laying on them. So there's no point in putting brand new rubber on there to let them just go off or go square in the garage. So I'm going to put the Super Sports back on, get another couple more months out of them when it comes around to next year. I'm sure I'll get some use out of it. But ultimately, the big plan is going to be a set of Michelin Cup 2s. That's what I want for it. So this video like i say we're going to send the wheels off to get refurbished i've used the e92 as the van as i say unfortunately it was just the easiest way just to throw them in the back of this it's incredible really how much you can squeeze in the boot of these so off i went down to stand this morning i've dropped them off with him he said it should be around a week or two to get them fully refurbished so i'm in no rush the car like i say is sat on axle stand so it's simply just waiting now for the wheels to come back the next big thing is going to be suspension so we're going to be doing a video obviously on all that where we take all the components apart doing the lower arms all the rear has been done when i had it down at eto motorsport but the front is still on this standard 90,000 mile wishbones all the lollipop bushes are all original so that all needs to be changed because it's not one of those things i was driving i was feeling the play in it but you just know it's just old and tired and then like i say when you do change it like what i did with the clio it's just absolute night and day difference. Everything just feels so much sharper. And like I say, especially if I'm gonna be dropping near on probably more than 2,000 pounds on coilovers, there's no point in doing it if every other bush in the car is absolutely shagged. So certainly uh, looking forward to getting that done. But like I say, in this video, hopefully Stan's gonna take some videos for me so it's not his normal thing to be doing, but I've asked him to do a couple of pictures of the progress, couple of videos, and hopefully, like I say, we'll be able to lay that in there now.
So as you can see, the wheels have come back absolutely flawless. Now, as I said, I had some clear coat peeling. It looks like they've been painted pretty badly before. I did some damage to the front left wheel. All resolved now, looking absolutely beautiful again, which I'm pleased to see, because it makes such a difference when you do that when you get the wheels refurbished. So like now, we've got to get the new stickers, the little M Sport stickers. I'm gonna get new center caps because the old center caps have all sort of corroded around the edge. They were looking pretty nasty. And like I say, just slowly but surely start bringing it back to former glory. And I'm really happy that I'm still continuing on with the build. There's always part of you that thinks, oh, am I gonna continue? Am I gonna get halfway through it? And then realize I'm just playing loads of money. But the car just literally brings me so much joy that I don't mind doing it. So, I mean, everything at the moment with what we've had this year has all been up in the air. I'm sure many like myself have had concerns about job security and stuff because it's affected everyone. So the big plan, like I say, was to do a lot of stuff this year. I wanted to get the new front bumper. I wanted to get potentially carbon roof. Like I really wanted to hit it hard, but I think for the time being, let this year just roll over. And like I say, we'll see where we're at next year and fingers crossed it's a case that life returns to normal. And I can actually get on some road trips again. I say cars this year, even the bikes, I've just done nowhere near the mileage. One, obviously, for the lockdown. And then two, just like, where do you go? You've got to wear face masks everywhere, right? which I support. But it sort of takes the fun out of it, being in that normal, comfortable atmosphere. I feel the car scene this year and a lot of other things have taken a big hit. But enough waffling about that. Fingers crossed. Like I say, over the winter, we're going to be doing all the suspension stuff. So... If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a like and a subscribe. And I'll put a link down here as well for Stan, the wheel man. He literally works miracles. He's done the E92 wheels powder coated. He did the Clio ones. And like I say, the Clio ones, oh man. When I took them down to him, it was embarrassing. I said to him, it's not me that's curved these. And they suffer with corrosion as well. And he said, don't worry, we'll weld them. We'll lay them back it'll be resolved don't worry so really happy with the work he's done in the past and i will continue to use him again over the years i'm sure so if you enjoyed the video make sure you give the channel a like and a subscribe like i said it helps us keep growing and bringing the content to you like i said we've got plenty more in the pipeline for the e46 m3 over the coming months